Hello and welcome to episode 57 of Teen Mom Trash Talk. I'm your host, Tracy Carnazzo. Hi, I'm Noel Winters. What was that look that you just gave me? Because I was thinking episode 57. I oh, can't I thought you were it. like judging me. No, I was thinking, I'm like, wow, episode 57. I didn't realize that we did that many episodes. We did all the episodes because you yeah. have to figure we've been around for more than a year. That's wild. There's 52 weeks in a Over year. Over 1 million downloads. Over 1 million downloads. I can't. You can. I can't. You can. I mean, I can. You oh, are. I can. You are. I literally can. You literally are. I want a pumpkin spice latte because that's how much I can. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. That's so much. You can't uh-huh. even. I can't even. Holy shit. Guys, uh-huh. we're here to talk about Teen Mom 2 Reunion Part 1, uh, Season 8, Episode 33. Gabrielle's not here today. Bye, Gabrielle. That's not nice. No, no, no I love her. She, if I wasn't here, she would say the same thing. Yeah, but she's meaner than you are. I know. So let's talk about where Gabrielle is. What's going on there? She is in South Carolina. Today she was in Savannah, Georgia. Right. And uh I don't know, she's just going on vacation. Her life is real hard. Yeah, it's so super she's hard. She's very vacation. stressed out. So um but yeah, so Gabrielle is out there. She's been eating delicious things like lobster with Bernays sauce. Yeah, if you guys huh. look, follow her on Instagram, uh I mean I'm sure it's some kind of Gabrielle Nicole X. Yeah, so many X's. <laughs> so, uh just go and follow her and you guys could see everything that she has been traveling. Yeah, she's just out away for the week. Uh Yeah, she'll be back, I think, Friday night. She'll be back. And then guess what happens next? What happens? My bridal shower. Oh, MJ. That is so crazy. Okay, I'm really excited, guys. Um, I'm going to look like a pretty, pretty princess. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I am. Okay, enough about you. No one cares. Okay, I mean, listen, I'm ready. Season 8, episode 33. Dr. Drew and Nessa discuss this season's biggest moment with the cast, including Kaylin and Brianna's explosive fight and Devon's shortcomings as a co-parent. Now, when they spell Devon here, it's D-E capital V-O-I-N. Oh, excuse me. I mean, I believe it, but also Devon. how many breaks did Nessa take? Okay. <laughs> I have that as a note. Okay. <laughs> We're here with Janelle right now. <laughs> Ness is on a break. Uh-huh. Is Nessa tired? <laughs> Ness is on so many breaks. We're here with Kale. Ness is on a break. Uh-huh. <clears throat> We're here with Barb and Ness is on a break. S- right. We're here. Why is she there then? Okay. Because here's the thing. She was only there for what? Devon? Uh, was it Devon well, she and was on a break. Kale? She was on a break. Yeah, I don't remember. But I was thinking at first when they were like, Nessa's on a break. First of all, it was the first segment. So she's already on a break for the first <laughs> segment for Brianna and Brittany. Also, why are we co-hosting? I mean, I didn't hate it, but like... W- I didn't hate it either. I think too many people are complaining about Dr. Drew. Really? People don't really like him anymore. Okay. They think he's too soft on the girls. So they probably want a little change I mean, of weather. you got to Howard Stern them a little bit. Uh, oh, I... Uh, listen, if it was me, it should be fucking andy from bravo no but what i'm saying is like howard stern ropes you in first he ropes you in but then he gives it to you yeah but he ropes you in first and you got to play the game a little bit i guess but dr drew doesn't really play the game no he plays the game all the way and doesn't play the other kind right right you're so stupid i mean i'm not it's okay guys right off the bat (laughs) let's just uh throw this out of the way okay uh i just want to talk about uh an awesome album, a comedy album, real quick. Mm. Yeah. Keith Malley put out an album. Guys, you might know him from Keith and the Girl. I do oh, that podcast a lot. So yes, if you're ever you looking for another podcast to listen to, yes. check out Keith and the Girl. Keith Malley put out his 15th stand up album called Drip Drip. I opened for him. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. And you can get that at keithandthegirl.com. Um, that's awesome, Tracy. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. And I'll be at Gotham Comedy Club on Friday the 24th. And where will you be? Are you going to be somewhere on Sunday, too? Um, I no, you said two shows. Yeah, you but I mean, two. that's the one that we're promoting Oh, okay. Right so just okay. shut the fuck up. That's the one. So that's cool. on the 24th. On the Matt's 24th. Birthday. On the 25th, I will be, uh, of August, I will be at QED doing my monthly show called Hashtag Comedy at 9 p.m. And that's QED in Astoria, Queens, New York City. Mm. Awesome. Um, Trixie Chuzini on Instagram and Twitter. T-R-I-X-I-E-T-U-Z-Z-I-N-I. And Noelle. Uh, Noe uh, underscore bear 810 on Instagram. Noe girl on Twitter. Noelle Winters on Facebook. Or you can go to fullbellycaters.com and um, you can order food for me because I'm great. Cool. Noelle has been doing, just to throw this out there, Noelle has been doing a lot of meal prep. Uh, She caters to all different dietary restrictions. So if you guys are in the New York City area, Brooklyn, Queens, the boroughs, whatever it is, or if you want to drive and pick them up in Brooklyn, she's doing meal preps as 
as well as full catering. Yes, parties. I am. Super cool. Okay, so now Dr. Drew and Nessa co host. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first thing that I notice is that Brittany's ass is very not okay. <laughs> okay. So Brianna got her ass deflated. Didn't right. work. Did no, it work. didn't work at all. Brittany just leaves her ass like that. Yeah. She hasn't changed. That's I mean, okay. you want to go back to Dr. Diane? I don't Miami? want to go back, but like, that's it. That's I think your that fate. she had such a bad experience. She almost died. Yeah. I wouldn't go back. But so did Brianna. I have a friend who had a nose job gone wrong. And yeah. She, they could fix it. And she's so afraid. And I don't blame her. Yeah. I guess you know? it's a shame. I yeah. don't know. Uh, Brittany, they, they, they open up with the fight, right? Because right. we saw a little bit of that last episode. And Brittany grabbed the shit out of Kale's hair and jerked yeah, her head did. back. And you know what? Her boob fell out. Okay, I didn't notice that. Brittany's boob fell out. I didn't notice yeah, that. Yeah, she was fixing her boob when the camera oh. went back on her. Uh, it was a big grab. I didn't like it. I mean, it was it was a little much. Listen, she it was much because it wasn't self defense. I she says that she was doing it to defend her sister. I'm not really sure, but she wasn't even near her sister. I know. I don't get it. She was saying that she thought that Kaylin was um threatening brianna earlier in the day or right, something they, she had put sneakers on right because that's what brianna said yeah because her hair was braided and she was in shorts. her hair was braided for the show right i mean usually when what i go to fuck a bitch about? up i don't braid my hair first no like what are mostly you because i don't know about? how to braid my hair yeah me either same <laughs> same uh so <laughs> one of the funniest things and not funniest things that i found mm-hmm. was that kale apparently said to brianna when they were in this conference room having a chat she said let me just hit you one time yeah which is a hilarious line uh-huh. that my brother used to say to me all the time when we were children. <laughs> he'd be like, let me hit you one time, one but, time. You, but you can't uh, tell mommy. Uh-huh. And you'd be like, okay. <laughs> I'd be like one time only <laughs> one time only. Uh-huh. And I'd be like, go ahead, do it. And then he would do it. And I would so tell my mom, of course you were. You're a terrible person. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm a terrible person. Your mother wouldn't believe you anyway. Though. No, absolutely not. She'd be like, that's Tracy, that's not true. Oh my God, Tracy, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Again, Brianna's eyelashes, just like Lexus from Unexpected, look like brooms. The eyelashes. Why do they wear plastic stripper eyelashes? I don't know. Do they think I that mean, looks nice? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. You look it like doesn't. a doll in it a doesn't. not good way. Brittany brings up a really good point. She said, This is over a guy who ain't shit. Right. What? A jobby. She calls him jobby. I love it. And you know what? He isn't shit. And she's absolutely right. And and meanwhile, Brianna's like, it, it isn't about a guy. But originally, it is about a guy. I mean, that's that's how it is. That's what happened. And it's kind of like, Javi, of all people, he was apparently ready to have another girl in, uh, in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he had another girl that was ready. Which is, I guess, Tim Lauren? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um... I love how she calls him Javi. I know. That was so funny. She's like, this is over Javi. Javi. He L-O. ain't shit. <laughs> LOL. Uh, and then Brittany says, y'all know that I have anger problems. Okay, Brittany. I mean, you like K-pop. How angry can you be? Seriously. <laughs> you know? I feel like She's I would like, be you should have known from the last time and the time before that and the time before that. I feel like I'd be friends with her. I would be friends with her. I just wish that she didn't pull her hair like that. That was so stupid. I know. It was. It just made her look bad. And the problem, I like Brittany. I do too, yeah. but I don't like what she did. No, I don't like what she did either. I don't think that it's ever okay. It's like sucker punching someone. I mean, listen, it should never come to physical violence in general. Yeah. No, but I agree. not when you sneak attack someone either. No, I didn't come like on. that. That was from behind too. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now Brianna's talking about how Devon didn't try very hard. I don't believe it. I don't know. I believe that Lewis doesn't care. Lewis moved to New York City. Yeah. And does not communicate with her. I believe that Lewis doesn't do anything but pay for daycare. A hundred percent. But Devon, I don't know. After that heart to heart conversation they had, I do not believe he I think try he wants to. I, I got to tell you, I don't know if I, be, I believe mm. her a little bit. I think I she think, looks to always throw men under the bus. I mean, look at the two men that she has, though. So someone in the group was talking about how uh, and when I say group, we have a Facebook group called Tracy's Team Mom Trash Talk Discussion. Mm-hmm. Someone was talking about how uh you know dr drew said i i feel bad for you and you should be angry at these men in your life right and someone was like i don't like that he said that because brianna doesn't have any right to be mad at anyone like blah 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 i mean that's not true i don't think that's true at all i think that she listen your shitty father yeah of course i'm gonna be mad at you devon is definitely uh you know he's had his his ups and downs 
I don't think that he I think he's trying I think he wants to I don't know if he knows how you don't think that Brianna always finds something to complain about yeah it was something like, to complain about but I think that why are you bringing him with you why are you letting him watch the kids we all he's doing is trying to help he's holding your other kid right. that well, you had with someone even, else he even said that like mm-hmm. you know he's trying with Stella too but I think he means well. I don't know if he knows how to be a dad. And he I might don't know how to be a dad. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I don't agree with. I feel like she's full of shit. She always looks for something to complain about. She's always looking to complain about someone. Right. But we also under the bus. We also know this. And now mm-hmm. I hate defending Brianna. You know, uh-huh. this. MTV edits things the way they edit. Sure. Things. So you don't know what else happens. They are painting a picture for us and they are the storytellers. So just remember that when you watch this show. Yeah, but you should remember that too. She is not an angel. I never said she was an angel. But me, I don't know. I don't think, I think that Devon's trying. I felt, I felt a little bad for her. Why? I felt bad for her. She, you know, I think that she has really bad taste in men. And I think that only now she's realizing that. Um, I mean, I think she has daddy issues yeah. for sure. So Dr. Drew was talking to her about uh, her pain that converts to anger. Yeah. And he suggested that she go to therapy. And she was like, yeah, I don't know about all that. The thing is, like, she just doesn't seem genuinely nice. You know, like, no, I, no, think I don't think she seems is. really nice. I don't think she is. Yeah. I don't think that Brianna is a nice person. And that's mm-hmm. what I don't like about her. Because you know what? I'm a nice person. I like being around nice people. You could be bitchy. I don't care. Tracy is a mother load of a bitch. Gabrielle is the biggest bitch I've ever met. Yeah. But you guys are kind. You're nice people. She's right. not a kind person. No, I don't think she is. You know? I really don't think she is. Uh, Devon, they bring him up on stage. His so- head, his headgear. First of all, his horn rim glasses. He really... <laughs> uh, he had a look. He did. He had a look. It was different than his look used to be. Listen, I prefer this over a do rag any Same. day of the week. Same. Yep. He moved in with Brianna and her family. And Which is really nice of them. Super nice of yep. them. And I got to tell you, I loved it. So yeah, me too. I loved it. It made me just so uh, happy I think happy that was great heart. of them. Yeah. I really liked it. He moved in uh, because he had to, uh, he said, I had to get my bread up. Right. Which is slang for... Uh, I have to get some money. You have to get some money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he said that uh, he was struggling. He had been invited uh-huh. to Thanksgiving, but he was struggling and he didn't really have anywhere to live. So he had to uh, get a telly. Get a telly. Yeah. Um, and then he has he a few girlfriends. Eat at McDonald's in the telly. Uh, and he also had crown apple. Crown apple. That's right. He did have crown <laughs> apple. That, that stuck in my brain. Stop. Yeah. That stuck he in was, my brain. He made me LOL a lot. Yeah. I don't know in a good way. I think I was laughing more at. I don't hate him. I don't hate him at all. I don't hate. I don't him. hate him at all. Like I said, I just don't know. I don't like Lewis a lot more than him. I hate Lewis, mm-hmm. but I also need Lewis. You to also, I feel like would would do the the. No, P&B with I got to tell you, no. Really, her ex boyfriend Dre. Dre. Dre is where it's 100%. at. One hundred percent. He's Lewis, so cute. No. Thanks. No, I think Dre is dope, but you know who but I would, am gonna go you know who would really get it, right? Chris who? Lopez. I love him. Why is he I would have ten luxes. Oh my god, I would have all of his Now babies. I know why she's in love I with him. I would let him beat me in front He's of my kids. So hot. <laughs> He is so. I used to think he was like ugly because I saw like one bad. Yeah, picture because you of him can't. You had ago. no. You had no other pictures he is to a see. Beautiful man. I love him. Me I too. get it. I love him too, Kale. Yeah. He is also the love of my life. Yeah. Sorry, Kale. <laughs> He's the love of my life as well. Sorry, <laughs> I Matt. I love you. I feel your pain. Maybe Kale can give us some support. Yes. Uh, speaking of, let's talk about Kale. So, Why, Kale, can I ask you a question about Kale? Sure. Why did Doctor Drew say that she was obsessed with? Um, no, like addicted to love yeah, and, and a sex. sex addict, and now she's becoming that. Right. Which, okay. What? So what he was saying was that Javi is a love and sex addict. Oh, it was Javi. I thought he was referring to Chris Lopez. No. That's why I'm like, we don't even know anything about. No, him. he was saying that Javi was always a lo- which he. I mean, he you absolutely can't deny is. That. Yeah. Javi was a love and sex addict, one hundred thousand percent. I totally agree with you. And now. She's becoming that. Sure. Because that's how she's acting with Chris. Is she? Her face is beautiful. Okay. Is beautiful? You don't think I think her makeup lately. Okay, her makeup. I think her great. eyeshadow was a little dramatic. I'll tell that. I'll tell you this. No, I didn't mind her eyeshadow. It was definitely bold. But that's what it, I mean, okay. I didn't hate it. What is wrong with her lips? They they did them wrong. Um, I think that her lips have been like that. It looks bad. Um, I love her hair. 
Her hair looks amazing. It did look a little, listen. In this shot, uh-huh. it didn't look as good as it usually does. It looked a little frizzy. Like it was, there was a lot of flyaways on it. Um, and, I you, think, and I'm just telling you, because I mean, her usually, hair's a little overprocessed. Kale's hair is usually on point. Kale, I love, I'm telling you, I just love the glow that they're putting on her lately. Yeah, I'm really I do too. But it. again, in this scene, I think maybe because she was frazzled, maybe she was I think sweating a little she bit. Is ha- she had a day. Yeah. Yeah. So she went to fight her yeah. in the, and she planned to fight her and she told us that she wasn't sure if she was going to fight her when she sure. got here. And th- Dr. Drew said, do you have any regrets? And she said, I should have hit Brittany first. Yeah. I'm glad she didn't. I'm glad she didn't. Because now she's Because you know what? I bet you her and Brittany will be cool one day. I hope so. Yeah. There was a little montage uh-huh. of what's happened to Kale in the last yes. season. And Javi was in quite a lot of scenes. Yes, he was. His eyes were open during the entire montage. Yeah, they don't stop. They don't blink. They don't close. He looks like a crazy person. He, okay. Mm-hmm. The more... I, okay. I guess because we've seen more of Javi. We've seen this more of Javi season, than anyone in the world. Right. Because he's been in double, you know, double the airtime. Right. So I never realized how nuts he was until this season. He is a different version of a David. He's a crazy person. Yes. He is a crazy person. I totally agree with you. What, what things have you noticed that Javi just is like a, a sex addict for sure. Sure. A love addict. Serial monogamous. A serial monogamous cannot go a day without someone with them. Um, he doesn't put his children's best interests before no. him. He will always put himself before everything Yeah, see, else. now the thing is, I think he's been pretty lucky because he has Kale as uh, the mom uh, to his yes, kids. So it's yeah. like, you know, she's always, they're always going to be taken care yeah. of. Uh, and he also has a job where he can provide for them. So that's sure. pretty cool. But as far, and also, you know, he's a nice dad and she's a nice mom. Sure. So the kids are like pretty much okay, mm-hmm. but you're absolutely right. There are little things that he does mm-hmm. that it's like, Hey, that's not the best idea. Exactly. What were you referring to? I mean, stop introducing mm-hmm. your kid to all of these women. Right. That I, I met one of my father's girlfriends ever. Right. I know. You know, only if that's someone really serious, like I don't play that game, but you know what? Kale shouldn't throw stones either because Chris Lopez was in her house one minute after Javi deployed. You know yeah, what I mean? I think she was having like a thing with him. I guess, that. but also all these people should not be meeting the kids so quickly. Right. I think that that's crazy. The only one who did it right was Chelsea. Sure. That Cole was the only person Aubrey ever met. Yes. You know? But now, okay, but let's play uh, Devil's Advocate. Yeah. I mean, besides Chris. Right. Who did the kids meet besides I don't, I don't their father? Dom, all these different friends, Becky, this one. Yeah, that I know, one. I but feel I like mean, so many people are her friends. Right, but so many people are in and out of these kids' lives. She's a, okay. I think that because of where Kel where Kel came from. Uh huh. Sorry, I don't know why I couldn't say <laughs> that. That was so hard for me. Maybe it was an emotional thing. <laughs> yeah, that was you struggled. Out of me. Because of where she came from, I think that she wants the opposite life for her children. Uh huh. And she wants them surrounded by love constantly. She, but she, I also feel, is another one who cannot be alone. Right. They, I mean, a lot of these people have this problem. That yeah. They can't be alone. You know who doesn't have it? Leah. Yes. You Leah's know? the only one who really doesn't. Yeah. And you know who definitely has it? Who? Janelle. Janelle has it. Um, Kale, what, what I found interesting, what she said was, that not only Javi wanted airtime, but so did Brianna. Yeah. You know, and I never thought about it like that. I thought it was just Javi being a creep to Brianna. I never thought it was in Brianna dated Javi for the same reason. Sure. Yeah. I never even thought about it that sure. way. I think that. <clears throat> so something that Brianna was talking about in her interview was that, you know, she's had. Sh- listen, she's had shitty baby daddies. Yeah. Agreed. You know, I mean, Devon's like pretty much OK now, now he's but okay. he was not in right. life at all. Then she gets pregnant pregnant by rando lewis Mm -hmm. and he's like i don't know i think i'm gonna drive a truck like i think i'm gonna go to mars like i don't know but he yet he wouldn't let her give up the kid for right which which really would have been a better idea because now you know 20 percent of his djing gigs goes to daycare right (laughs) right it's true he djs here in new york uh like all the way uptown can we go? We can absolutely go. My boyfriend's offered to go with me too. Okay. I mean, we could all go as a group. I think we should go. Okay. There's a lot of Sunday brunch dance parties. Okay. I mean, those are fun. Ah, I'm not really into it, but we'll figure it out. Okay. We'll find him. Okay. I think that when she met Javi and something that she was saying was that like, you know, Dr. Drew was like, you were attracted to him because of he was such a good dad. Yeah. He was so nice. Listen, 
he was nice to those girls. Somebody was asking on Twitter why she got with Javi, and she basically said she settled and was desperate. Okay. I don't know if that's 100% true. No, she's saying that now because she hates him. Right. But I think yeah. that a big attraction to him was that he was really good with the kids. Yeah. And I think he legit loves children. I think he legit loves her. You think Brianna? Uh, I, no, no. I think that... I'm sorry. I think that he loves Kale. Yes. Yes. Sorry. I didn't mean Brianna. Okay. Yep. I was going to say because mm-hmm. I... But I think he really loves kids. And I, he loves being around them. I think that he loves kids. And I think that he's great with kids. And I think that... I mean, I think he liked Brianna. I think he just wanted a warm body next to him. Sure. Mm -hmm. But he showed genuine interest in the children. Yeah. Yeah. He was really sweet to them. Mm -hmm. And I think that her fantasy, which understood, was like, okay, he's going to come. And and like Brittany said, he's Captain Sable. Shining armor. Yep. He's Captain Sable. But I would have felt the same way. I think that in her position, I would have dated Javi. Um. I think that Javi will forever do things for Kale's reaction. Always. Like he didn't tell Kale about the pregnancy. She found out from the pregnancy right, announcement. But he came r- right to her house when he broke up with Brianna. Uh-huh, but that's what I mean. He does everything for he a reaction. He ran there wide eyed and bushy tailed. He loves Kale. He will always love Kale. Wider eyed than uh-huh. you would ever see in how, whole could, life. how is that even a thing? <laughs> his eyes are the widest eyes uh-huh, I've ever, ever seen. Ever. Ever. I don't understand how he doesn't drool when he talks because his mouth doesn't shut either. You know, I don't even know. <laughs> like, how does it like rice or something fly out of his mouth when he that talks? That was very racist. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> I mean, just because rice is little, you know. Oh, okay, I thought that was a Spanish joke. No, thought, it could be an Asian joke, too. True, true. <laughs> He's not Asian, though. Mm-mm. No, but he also, he just needs to learn to shut his eyes. I don't know. There's something about Javi that really creeps me I out. I don't like him. Uh, um, I wish that they would have showed an interview with Joe. Joe left. I know. I don't blame him. Joe was like, I am out of here. I would have gotten the fuck out of there too. I don't yeah. need it. He's the I one that left. It. So that's yeah. why I think they were planning on interviewing Joe, but Joe was like, I'm good. Also, what's Joe going to say? No, I'm just mean in life just to catch up with him. Cause you don't really see much about sure. him. Sure. And I now he's off the show. To, yeah. And I would have just left like a little update. Okay. Something that I'd like to talk about with Joe mm-hmm. is that Kale brings it up all the time. And I don't think she's lying. What? Saying about how Joe won't take Isaac to his extracurricular activities. Yeah, of course that he was, won't. That was her complaint from day one. Joe still doesn't have a job. He's a grown up. What is his deal? Joe's never had a job. I mean, what does he do? Like flip houses now, maybe? If, is that even, if that's even With a Matt? thing that he does. With Amber's boyfriend, Matt? Right. And then he, um, V kept saying he just keeps taking out loans. Like how that's he can't take out right. a loan for everything. That's right. He was taking out mm-hmm. loan after loan after loan and then paying them back with loan, yeah. loan, loan. Yeah. I hated that because that is like, you know, everyone wants to paint Kale as like this jealous, crazy uh-huh. person. And she was. She was at first with V until yes. she was settled in. Yes. But her complaints were real. I believe. She was like, you can have 50 50 if you're going to take him. Because you remember a long time ago, her complaint was like, he pretends he's the best dad. He doesn't come to his soccer games. Yeah. And it's true, though. But it's it's dead true I because think she he, wouldn't still she would never say anything about Joe now. Uh-huh. That's not true. And it, the fact that she's still saying it. Listen, I think Joe's a great dad, but I think that Joe is lazy. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think he's lazy. He has a little bit of entitlement in him. Yeah. What is he going to do without the teen mom money now, though? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I would love to know. Do you though. think that he's going to have his rap career really take off? I think that <laughs> I think the only reason why he's not on anymore is because V didn't want to be on anymore. I don't yeah, think but what are they going to do for choice. money? Because that is a check. Doesn't she have something out She's a makeup, like, artist, some makeup right? or something? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think that's I mean, I mean, I don't know. I think he also comes from money. I think he comes from not not money, but not money, money. I don't know. They have they to seem be com- very middle class. They have to be comfortable enough. I guess. They don't have to worry or maybe about he's planning something. on going back to printer repairs. <sighs> That's right. I forgot about that. No one forgets. Yeah. Jody I would love job. to see Janet, by the way. I would love to see Janet. To see what are you Janet. up to, Janet? Hey, Janet, reach out to us. Reach Come out. on our podcast. They're not that far away. We can drive there. Yeah. Go say hi. Amazing. Someone in our group was saying that uh, they work at Lush Cosmetics in Delaware. Yes. And Kale shops there. That, I mean, that's awesome. Two of my favorite things, Teen Mom and Lush. And Lush. Not a big deal. I've never met anyone who loves Lush more than you. I love Lush all the way. Yeah. All the way, Luff. All Lush. All the way. I want to marry it. I want to get it pregnant. I want to do all of these things. Uh, so Chris has supervised visits right now for, four, no, I don't know if he has, su- they're not supervised. Four hours he, a week? He has four hours a yeah. week. Yeah. What does that do for your child or you? 
What kind of a break is that? I have visits with you that are four hours a week because of the podcast. We even now, but yeah, but now we do them even longer. We see each other so much. I think that since the podcast, yeah. I have I see you more definitely because we didn't see each other that much. Yeah. And now I feel like I'm addicted to you. I, because now we really see each other all the time. Because I though. can't stop seeing Like last you. week we were together like four days. I couldn't yeah. believe it. I feel like my life is better because of I it. know, right? Like today I was like, we'll podcast later. Just lay here with me, baby. I did and we laid in bed. Yeah, like <laughs> I just wanted to be with you. I just yeah. wanted you to be next me to me. Me too. And I didn't even feel good. And I was like, I don't want to podcast right now. I just want to stay with right. you like and all day. And then I breastfed you a little bit. Yeah, you did. You were my uh-huh. wet nurse. <laughs> 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 this is what Gabrielle misses. Oh my god, <laughs> seriously. Um so she said that her and Chris's mom are like pretty cool. Which is cool. I love this. Yeah. I feel like it's falling into place. Yeah. I think that it was a really rocky start. Uh-huh. Uh and I think that maybe she's putting aside some of her feelings right now. Yeah, but aren't they back together? Somebody's saying they're back together I don't now. Know if they're back together. I mean, now. I would want to be back together with him. I want her to be uh-huh. back. I mean, I want to be back together with him. I would like to be together with him for the first time. Yeah. I want to be back together. I want to be together with him now. I just I love I you, know. Matt. I do. I love you. Yeah, but I mean Chris Lopez. Chris Lopez is really Chris hot. Lopez is like the epitome of my type. <laughs> Same. Right? See, a little chubbier though, maybe for okay, me. Okay, I would like a maybe a little chubbier, but I, I like the tan. Honestly, skin. if I could cook for him and you could cook for him a little bit more. Yeah. He's good. Tattoos, tan skin, Listen, attitude, beat me, love you. Hello. <laughs> I'll let, let you take my baby and put him in a trap house. Yeah, go ahead. I'll let Graffiti my, the baby. Have him. <laughs> What do I care? The baby comes back with tattoos on his face. Who cares? That was amazing. You also love tattoo faces. I do oh, love you tattoo do. faces. Mm-hmm. You do. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but uh, he's so cute with his little man bun, though. Anyway, Lux. That's the only time I find him cute. Listen, I love him. I know. I think he's adorable. People are like, oh, he's ugly. And they're like, he must look like the father. Nope. He looks like Kale. He is yeah. Kale's face stamped onto yeah. a baby. With a little but listen, mocha complexion. Mo- a lot of kids aren't cute. Love him. Love him. Love him. I, I want know him. you do. I feel that way about Lincoln. Okay. Okay. Same <laughs> though. Yeah. Same. Now, let's talk about the real scandal in this. Oh, I'm ready. You didn't have sex with Dom, Kale? Okay. You're a liar, Kale. Okay. So I wasn't sure if we were dating because we were just friends and then we never had sex. So it's like if we just hung out as friends all the time and never had sex, then we weren't dating, right? Liar. Lies. Liar. Lies. You're lying. You know how I know you're lying? How? Because Dom was like, I had to get tested for STDs yeah. after I dated Kale. Yeah. Because she cheated on me. Yeah. She's lying. Liar. Also, like, who cares? Say Kale. it. Kale. Yeah. Liar. You, I don't care. You fucked Dom. You're lying. You fucked Daddy you're Dom. You're lying. I'd fuck Daddy Dom. You so. called her the dad of your child. Yeah. You know but why? You never had sex. You know why? Because you scissored. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh why. my god, Noel, you love uh, referring to the scissoring. I love to talk about scissoring. I love to watch scissoring. Like I love a, everything like about. Yeah, I love because everything. It's like, what about are you doing? It. I need to see the technique because I feel like every lesbian has a different technique. Right. Even though real lesbians don't, they scissor, don't scissor. But in porn, I just find it Joanna so Ragone, funny. Our resident lesbian, right. do lesbian scissor. Tell me, tell Joanna, us. please tell me, please. I yeah. love the idea of scissoring. Right? Why? I don't know. I just like to watch it. Uh-huh. Like, because I just, I don't know. Cause I feel like sometimes it's so full of shit. Right. Like, Cause I want to so see fake. where your vagina is. And I want to see where your okay. vagina is. You ever see one and they're not even touching? No, not even touching. Or it's like pretending. on the leg. On the like, leg. What are you doing? So I watched one recently. Yeah. It was just two people humping legs. And I'm like, you would leave a snail trail on my leg and I would be very upset about this. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want this. But like, I don't know why I find it so fascinating. Do you think that they ever, uh, they get they hit the nail on the head right right and then it creates a vacuum and then one of them gets their insides pulled out of them it could be like their whole uterus is just inside out oh like a like a what's a prolapse yes a prolapse uterus uterus. (laughs) i don't like that i don't like that ever or i think you might have just ruined scissoring i hate to say this but i'm really like i'm a very good doctor mostly uh, Uh mostly obstetrician Uh uh-huh you are what if uh-huh. a pregnant woman mm-hmm. scissored with a regular woman, non pregnant birth? Could you suck the baby out by creating a vacuum? Okay. Th- I also, just w- can babies be sucked out? I don't really know, but I just want to tell you, you brought me to a place I didn't want to go to right. in my head because one of my friends will not name a name. Okay. His girlfriend recently told me 
when she was very mad at him, she was cursing about him. And she was like, and all this fucked up porn he watches. He loves to watch she males. He loves to watch trans uh, trans people fuck. She he loves to watch like girls with dicks fuck and and all this like weird shit. I think it's curiosity. Yeah, and I'm just like, I think that here's the thing. I Go. think that guys watch so much porn, yeah, jerk off so much that eventually they're like numb to okay, it. Okay, so funny you should say that. Right. Back in the day, I had a podcast called Neurotica. Okay. And me and my co-host talked about that constantly. Right. About, no, it's a real thing. I believe it. So there was this study done mm -hmm. and it was like basically a rat was put with their mate rat, like a okay. boyfriend, girlfriend rat. And after a while, he didn't want to fuck the girlfriend rat anymore. Right. They put a new girl rat in there and he fucked her right away. Men get overstimulated so easily. Right. And they get uh, immune to the porn. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know who you're talking about, but I, I will clearly ask you in just a few <laughs> minutes course. after we finish. I, I, I want to end this podcast right now because okay. I need to okay. know. <laughs> uh, but I think that a lot of those kind of things are more curiosity sure. than an actual turn on. Sure. It's more like how you were just saying. You're like scissor porn. I can't You're like, but I need to know it. why. I need to watch it. I have to understand it because I feel like nobody really does it. No one does that. So it's like, I'm never going to be scissoring in my life, but I want to learn about it. Right. Like, just, just in show case me. you're in a situation. Yeah. I mean, just show me Where how. someone's like, I'm pregnant. I'm nine months pregnant <laughs> and I can't get the baby out. And you're like, I'll hold on. scissor it out of I you. I scissor it out of you. <laughs> 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 it's so fucked up because i picture it <laughs> yeah no it's i mean it would work maybe yeah we'll i mean creating a vacuum so now <laughs> you were saying uh the desensitizing of porn yeah i think that I, okay now i didn't know that was a real thing mm -hmm. i just thought that in my head no that's a real thing so like i feel like it doesn't like watching scissor porn doesn't like do anything for me but right. i just really enjoy watching sure, it sure and i just well, love now i know what to get you for your wedding uh, what scissor porn yeah i mean do it I will do it. I like it. I'm going to. So um, I watch all of the scissoring. Sometimes sure. like Matt will be at work. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm just going to watch like scissor porn. Sure. Like, so I was watching like vintage scissor porn. Ooh, the other night. How nice. So much bush. So, oh, yeah. Even you can't even see. You. There was, I couldn't see where these girls were just humping legs. Or they were just tickling each other's afros. Yeah. That, I mean, these sick bush sick bush this was like early 80s porn. wow yeah i, I like i like i didn't know they had scissoring that's then. what it is sometimes i'm just like i want to see what happens i want to know what people like you know that right i know i want to know what people liked in the 80s what they liked in the right. 70s mostly bush it was so different anything with bush the sex was different it was well, much less raunchy have you ever watched hbo's real sex and it's like from the 90s that was your the, favorite i loved it because that i couldn't believe it <sighs> you know why and we'll get back to the teen mom in just a second <laughs> It's because, you know, you're like, oh, it's, you're going to go to a nudist colony. This is going to be hot. Right. And it's always the ugliest people. It's and it is hot. so fascinating. Yes. It's like, wait a minute. And it's like, we're going to go to a place where you learn to come. And it, uh huh. And then it's just the ugliest it's people the in the world. And you're like, scary. My people. eyes, my uh -huh. eyes, my eyes. I will never come But I can't here. look away. Right. <laughs> and it's just everybody's like fingering everyone mm -hmm. and it's just like everything's an orgy I, I don't like it i don't like it i don't all. like it that's why i like to see it because it was like this is not real the last but it's time like, i oh, watched no, real, real sex was when they were making the sex dolls oh my god that was a great episode. i remember that or the glass dildos that was beautiful yeah i remember that uh speaking of glass dildos everyone please keep listening to us we were i'm sorry we're so we got sorry. a little off we're track so sorry. today speaking of glass dildos um Kale and Dom had sex. <laughs> that's that's speaking of a glass dildo. Janelle was not allowed to come to the. I love that Barbara recognized that and said it. Barbara always recognizes that though. I know. I I I feel it. Would, her part was so dark and sad and depressing. It was, it was not usual. So bark. Nessa was on break. Yeah, of course she was. Of course she was. <laughs> of course she was. Nessa did a real hard ten minutes of work with Devon, and needed to take a break. Right. David said that she couldn't come. He didn't let her. Uh huh. You know, she said that. Now, <laughs> Barbara said, Jace uh -huh. is great. He's in fourth grade. Mm -hmm. He uh, makes holes in the walls. Uh huh. We had to put him on medication for his anger and his ADHD. That Janelle won't give him. Right. And then he hits me. Mm hmm. But he's great. He's great. That he's sounds doing great. so good. Janelle won't give him his meds. I know. When she that, goes with him. That is alarming. Okay. Not only is that alarming, shouldn't that be brought to court and her visitation I mean, taken away immediately? That counts as child abuse. Yes. Yeah. You're endangering the welfare of a child. Yes. Yeah. 
that is not okay. Janelle is not okay. And Barb says Janelle is not okay. And she knows it. She's like, I'm waiting for the phone call. Yeah. So uh, the road rage incident she brings up and she said that uh, Janelle told Jace to his face that he made it all up. Mm -hmm. They drive around with guns in the cars. They teach two and three year olds how to shoot. Yeah. Not a big deal. Uh, And she said that David is the meanest person she's ever met. And Doris and Barb (laughs) joke about how who David's going to kill first. Yeah. I mean, and she's like, it's not even funny, but I live closer and he's going to kill me first. It's horrifying. So horrifying. I uh, genuinely. How do you think it's going to end for them? I think David's going to be have to go to jail. Do you think that he is going to hurt someone else? Do you think he's going to hurt her? I think he's going to hurt someone else and go to jail. And t- be taken away from I'm her. I'm afraid and he's going to hurt s- someone on MTV. Oh, like a crew member. Yeah, you yeah, never know. It's, it's a very scary thing. Thank God he's not filming anymore. Because they keep isolating themselves. And yeah. Getting more and more paranoid and crazy. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, when she bought the end of the world kit. Yeah, that's what I mean. Come on. It's very scary. Poor Barb. So scary. Um, That was really the whole entire Yeah, she didn't really thing. talk about anything else. Just that. And I, you're right, though, that... I don't understand how nobody's saying that she's not giving Jace's medication. Yeah. It's really, really Mm -hmm. weird. Uh, Let's jump right into the gossip. Let's do it. Speaking of Janelle, she she signed a contract. I heard. I saw. She was really trying to hold out. Yeah. Forever. But she couldn't because she knows that she needs the money. Yeah. And didn't Netflix comment and say like they never offered her anything? What the hell would Netflix offer her? I know. No, I mean, honestly. But that's what, what are they giving her a comedy her special? Mind, she thinks that. Does she think she's getting a stand-up special I like guess. everyone else in the world? I guess. I know everyone else, seriously. That's the truth. Yeah, I mean, they they release a Netflix special every they Friday. They do. So, I mean, maybe she did get... Listen, maybe she did get a, a comedy special. I will be very angry if she got a comedy special. I would be so me, angry. Although she is much funnier. Uh-huh. Uh, so, yeah, she's signed for season nine. Okay. Which is sort of, you know, surprising that they aren't just calling it season eight C. Right. No, true season that. Season eight, episode 108. True that. <laughs> she signed the contract late last week and they're working out the filming schedule with her. So one of the negotiations between Janelle and uh, the problems was David, obviously. He was fired after his homophobic Twitter rant. Yep. As we know. Mm-hmm. And she was demanding that he returns to the show, but they will not budge. Yeah, I don't blame them. So she was trying to play hardball with them. Right. So, yeah. And she lost. The craziest thing about this. Do you know what they're doing for the storyline now that well, David's not in the picture? Oh, they're bringing Andrew they're back. They're bringing Andrew mm-hmm. back. And people are saying that's going to fuck Jace up a lot. Yeah. I want to know. And now, see, Listen, this is where I'm I, a selfish person. Me too. Because I'm mean. like, oh, my God, Gary does everything for his kid. Javi doesn't put the kids first. Uh-huh. Guess who else doesn't put the kids first? Me, Tracy Carnazzo. I know. Noel Winters. Same. Because you Same. know what? The last time we saw Andrew was on that special. And he had that cross dangling He had the cross dangling. He looked like Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, he was faces of meth. I want to know right this second where Andrew is. He, apparently, he lives in New York. Can he be on the podcast? If Okay, Andrew being back on the show would make my life. Yeah. That would be like bringing Kiefer back for good. <gasps> you know, like I can't. But there's so much more mystery with Andrew. I know because we, he was only on like five episodes ever, maybe. Okay, so I recently, did I tell you that I recently rewatched her 16 and Pregnant? I think I did. You, I think you did. I saw it not that long ago okay. as well. Andrew was like, we are going to be together forever. Uh-huh. Could you die? I'm a model in Japan. I am a model everywhere. My I used to have career. five apartments he in NYC. He was 20 years old. Yeah. He was 20 years old and he was like, listen, I'm very rich. I'm very wealthy. Yeah. And it was like, Andrew. Uh-huh. I think none of this is true, Andrew. Andrew, um, I had four apartments in New York City. Four of them. Uh-huh. Not just one, four. He was fucking weird. But that's the thing. He was just a weirdo. And the first time we met her, like, I guess they met in like an AOL chat room. He just went up to her and kissed her. Yeah. And she's like, I thought it was so great. And it's like, actually, that's a Me Too movement. Yeah. It's creepy yeah, as fuck. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Javi and Lauren bought a house in Delaware. Okay. Javi has Javi Jr. in the oven. Right? Uh-huh. Who cares? Not me. I mean, really. How does she feel being 19th runner up? Um, I think she's pretty happy with it. I think she didn't realize it until she was seven months pregnant. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do now? Right. You're now stuck. you got to be with Javi you're and stuck. you got to be like, oh, everyone else is crazy. Right. No, it doesn't work that way. I Keep being it. a Mackenzie. 
Oh my you god. Know? Uh <laughs> so yeah, she's she's back in uh in Dover. Yeah, she's not from there, right? I don't remember no, where she's, she's from. No, she's from South Carolina. Did you like that Kale messaged her? Like, you don't need to be going to Florida to meet my children? Hilarious. And yeah. he was like, okay, no problem. Okay, she, I'll just ask Brianna. Hold on one second. So she ruined that for me. Next. That's no, See, that's the crazy part to me. I that forgot about that until insane. now. insane. Yep. Yeah, I forgot that about insane. that until now. But at least he was telling the truth about having someone else willing to move to Dover. Right. <laughs> That's true. So sick. So sick. Mm -hmm. Uh, The next thing that we want to talk about, Chelsea's house is for sale. Yes, I saw. Finally, I'm glad. They're going to get a big kitchen, you think? I mean, they they need bigger space to make their box cakes. Oh, my God. I know. Seriously. (laughs) I know. I can't Especially the space next to the stove. It won't be overflowing. I know. So apparently um, it's on the market for $280,000. Yes. You should buy it. I mean, I would love to if it wasn't in Bumblefuck. Yeah, also the kitchen's way too small. Okay, that kitchen is way too small for me. I would knock that out, that dining room, and make the entire thing one big kitchen. Then you don't have a dining room, and I don't know how big this house is really. You That's know what I mean? true, too. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm glad that they're getting another house because she's just popping those kids out. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're going to have more than that, right? Yeah, I don't think that she's done with three. No? I think she's going to have like four or five. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, God. The look on your face of disgust. <laughs> really you upsetting. couldn't even hide that. No. Uh, teen mom Janelle Evans. Okay. Was cleared in child abuse criminal investigation. How? Uh, so Nathan said that Kaiser would repeatedly come to his house with bruises. Yeah. Saying that uh, it was Janelle and David. Right. Doing that. Uh, so they cleared both Janelle and David of any any charges. He also tried to get custody, Nathan, uh, and when Janelle refused to return Kaiser, he refused to return Kaiser to Janelle. Sorry. Right. Uh, and yeah, they just they cleared him. I don't know. I don't have many details on that, but she was cleared. How crazy is that? I don't even know what to say. Are you excited about Bristol coming back? OK, I'm really excited about Bristol. Right. Um, just because, listen, it has nothing to do with politics no. or any of that. Guys, I mean, fresh face usually means fresh drama, yeah, just also, like Brianna. Right. Um, can I ask you a question? Do you think Javi's going to try to fuck Bristol? Uh, probably. Yeah. And Chris, she's going to be like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> um, when is like OG coming back or something? Like what happens when this is over? So when this is over, it's that new weird show. Pretty Mamas. Yeah. I want to watch that because that really seems like real housewives. Yeah, no, I with get kids. it. I get so it. I want to watch that. I'm just curious if anybody heard of OG coming back. That's all. I don't know. I mean, it's obviously coming back because they're Yeah, no, no. It. I mean like soon. I hope so. And young and pregnant. I need it. I need it back in my life. I need it too. I need. I love it. It is coming, but that is coming back too. I need it back now just because I love that show so much. So uh, a little bit of gossip about that. Uh Uh-huh. Ashley and Barr got into some domestic violence issue. Yes. And Barr was arrested. Ashley also thinks the world is flat. Uh, She may or may not think that. Yeah. She thinks that. Got a little confused. Yeah. We have pictures of it just being round. Uh Uh-huh. So just (laughs) Ashley (laughs) <laughs> she didn't understand why that was weird. Yeah, no, I know. She says that um, the scientists are lying. You can't have good eyebrows and think the world is round. Seriously, pick. It's one or the other. Pick. It's one or the pick other. Pick a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> teen Mom Farah, uh-huh. one of our faves, actually former Teen Mom Farah, uh, she pleaded not guilty to her charges. Right. She would not. Ow. She said, I'm Sorry not guilty. I'm not accepting the offer because I'm not guilty. I've gone to a lot of counseling and therapy through the years and I'm very stable. Yeah, oh, that that sounded just like her. That was a good impression. <laughs> I'm not accepting the DA's offer since I'm not guilty. She is mental. This is just another form to me of, again, no celeb face and there would be no case. I am not guilty. I don't need any criminal records. I'm not like the other teen moms. I don't think it's funny when people are harassed. I'm not a victim. I am a victor. Oh. And then they were like, you're coming with us forever. We're going to She's become a, a parody decision. of herself. Yeah. Yeah. She's Lindsay Lohan when yeah. she went crazy. She's Britney Spears yeah. shaving her head crazy. No, I think she's worse than that. She's lost it. She's yeah. yeah. She's lost it. It's gone. Mm-hmm. It's over. Ow. I keep hurting myself. 
I know. Uh, I'm sorry. I will stop. I that. gave Noel a can of seltzer, peach mm-hmm. Perrier, by the way, which mm-hmm. is delicious. And mm-hmm. she's uh, she's taking the little tab off, uh huh, and she's hurting herself because she's too stupid not to. I'm so stupid. You can't. This is why. This is. I. You know what I feel like is happening mm-hmm. right now. I feel like David is teaching you as a child to shoot a gun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, You're Dad. Yourself. <laughs> stop being bad. Okay, guys. This has been an amazing episode. Yes, it has. Check us out. On Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Snapchat, on Snapchat, do it, do all those things. Go to tracycarnazzo.com, go to full be- belly catering, do it all. Guess what else? What? We have stickers for sale, $3. Yes, Venmo do. me at Tracy dash Carnazzo, $3 mm-hmm. with your, uh, with your address. Yeah. Also. Yeah. The Patreon. Yeah. Guess what we have on the Patreon? What do we You're going to die. There's something new. Tell me. We have recapped unexpected yes we have we did a small recap of it so if you guys want to check it out it's on the two dollar level and we also have a brand new episode of bs not team mom related which is our bonus podcast yes that's right check it out we have episode 17 up right now episode one of unexpected we have a lot of stuff going on in the patreon we have so much going on in the patreon also side note Mm, yeah um did you notice that kim posted on our page Oh, no, I'm sorry. Anthony posted on our page. Holla at me from the net. Absolutely, I did. And then Kim was commenting on it. Right. I died. I, I okay, laughed so out loud. Last week, we shouted out a friend, Kim and Anthony. Mm-hmm. And Anthony years ago had said to me, holla at me from the net. I guess that was like email me uh-huh. or like hit me up on AIM. Uh-huh. And he actually commented in the group. If you guys want to talk to him, he is a celebrity because he is our childhood I, friend. And Kim is his wife. Yes. So and check um, them out. they are both hilarious. Very funny. Yes. Very funny fans. Uh, we have some really big announcements. Mm-hmm. We are going to be choosing the winners next week of Noel's wedding contest. If you guys want to get your last minute entries in, you could email us at teen mom trash talk at gmail.com. I need your name. I need your address. I need your social medias. I need to know why you want to come to Noel's wedding. Noel's wedding is the 22nd of, of September. September. It is in Dry Ridge, Kentucky. That's right. And if you guys want to come party with us, enter to win but the only thing is when you when we say that you're gonna win that means you're gonna come to our wedding but like i'm not paying for your plane ticket you know like right like that you have kind to pay of for your own travel right. you just get an invitation to the wedding yeah, also but give a gift don't be a cheap person yeah and you know what come have some barbecue and it will be an open bar you know come, just saying come party just saying yeah uh but yeah no you're not winning the trip you're just winning the invite yes so if you want to do that make sure you get that in this week yes please because we are going to be choosing the winner yes are you excited i am really excited if you guys want to join our secret group as always you could join our patreon p-a-t-r-e-o-n.com backslash teen mom trash talk and you will see all of our offers you will see all of our secret podcasts all of our mm-hmm. secret recaps everything that's going on there and our secret facebook group that's right Oh my god, this has been a really fun episode. This has been a really fun episode. I miss Gabrielle, but like not really. No, like I miss her like in a superficial right, way. Right, but also the greatest thing is she is so lazy that she'll never listen to this. Oh no, so we could talk all this we shit. We could say whatever. Uh-huh. Gabrielle, I hate you so much. I hate you, Gabrielle. You're See, the worst. That. You're so oh, that stupid. Felt so good just to get yep. it out. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for listening. We would be nothing without you. Bye. Bye.